Our passage this morning is from Luke 1, verses 11 to 17. Then an angel of the Lord appeared to him, standing at the right side of the altar of incense. When Zechariah saw him, he was startled and was gripped with fear. But the angel said to him, Do not be afraid, Zechariah. Your prayer has been heard. Your wife Elizabeth will bear you a son, and you are to call him John. He will be a joy and delight to you, and many will rejoice because of his birth. For he will be great in the sight of the Lord. He is never to take wine or other fermented drink, and he will be filled with the Holy Spirit even before he is born. He will bring back many of the people of Israel to the Lord their God. And he will go on before the Lord in the spirit and power of Elijah to turn the hearts of the parents to their children and the disobedient to the wisdom of the righteous, to make ready a people prepared for the Lord. Now, I'm not sure what Zacharias was praying for when he was serving at the temple of the Lord, but it probably wasn't for a much longed for son. Partly because it might have seemed rather selfish and partly that they had probably given up on this prayer a long time ago, since both he and Elizabeth were both well on in years. We can pray for something for a long, long time. We can pray for members of our family to know Jesus. We can pray for a calling or a ministry or our work. We can pray for healing or forgiveness or relationships to be restored. But maybe after years of deepest prayer, we give up out of discouragement. Zacharias and Elizabeth probably prayed years of passionate prayer for a son, but gave up a long time ago. And in doing so, lost a little bit of their faith in God. When we are in that place, we sometimes begin, in the smallest of ways, to doubt the love and care of God for us, to doubt that God wants to help, to doubt that he has heard, but God always loves and his care never stops. When Zechariah heard the promise of the angel, he may have thought, I don't know what you're talking about. I didn't pray for a son. What well, old you know? I gave up on that prayer a long time ago. I'm praying for the salvation of Israel. I'm praying that God will send the promised Messiah, Jesus. Zechariah didn't know that God would answer both prayers at once and use his miracle baby to be a part of sending the Messiah. Zechariah had no idea that God would answer the two greatest desires of his heart at once. He had probably completely given up on the idea of being a dad. It was a hope that was crushed over the years of disappointment. But God hadn't given up on it, even though Zacharias and Elizabeth had. So when you're feeling that God has abandoned you, that your prayers remain unanswered, that you feel forgotten, just think of Zacharias. And remember, God always hears our prayers and will always answer them. He doesn't give up on us, even though we may give up on him. But, and this is a big but, we must leave the when and the how to God. He has our best interests at heart. He knows what is best for us, and it may not be what we think is best for us. So ask him, keep asking him, be persistent in prayer, but trust him. Trust that he will answer our prayers with his wisdom, his understanding, in his time, with his love. Thank you.